Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie using the 49 and Market Range Art Options Avesta. I've already used some of this paper before but for this layout I'm going to concentrate on the tag set and in this set there are 18 tags with strings. So I've spilled them out there on top of a piece of the pattern paper and I'm just picking and choosing the ones I quite like the look of to go with the photograph that you can see on the left. There's um, a, a few, well, there's a lot of greenery in the background of that picture, but there's also some uh, a pink plant, which name escapes me at the moment. But I just thought it was a perfect colour photograph to go with this range. So I'm spacing out the tags. So I picked out the pink and green ones specifically to go with this photograph, and I'm kind of trying to lay them out in um, a bit of a mosaic pattern. I don't want too big a gaps between them and um, I want them all facing outwards if that makes sense. So I'm just messing around seeing how they look. Um, the centre one is going to be covered quite a lot by the photograph but I would prefer it to be there just to keep everything at the same height if that makes sense. So the idea is then I will go on and embellish the tag. So I'm having a quick look at the bits and pieces I've got left um, after the other layouts I've done with this range and um, I'm just seeing what I can use. I just want some little bits and pieces. I don't want to cover the tags completely, but I do want to um, embellish the majority of them, if that makes sense. But obviously I don't want to overwhelm them. So I'm just having a look through and I'm just putting to one side everything I don't think will work. Um, but I like to look at everything because you never know what you might be missing. So that's my philosophy. I also want to back um, the photograph or at least layer it up a little. So I'm going to be looking for bits to do that as well. There is so much to choose from in this range. Um, I've used loads already, but I've still got lots left. So it's I'm going to find what I need eventually. That's not going to be a problem. Some lots of lovely die cut flowers and butterflies and stamps. Lots of word choices as well, which I liked and some tickets. So I'm just going through. I've also got these die cuts still attached to the backing. Um, so I'm going to have a look at those as well. Also, there's the sheets that um, 40, 49 and Market do where you can actually cut out some of the embellishments yourself. They're on the backing papers um, as part of the collection. So some of the shapes I may have already fussy cut earlier. I tend to get a sheet, get a pair of scissors, sit in front of the TV and um, cut them out. As long as I've got something on my lap to catch all the bits, I quite enjoy doing it while I'm doing something else. So, as I say, just having a look. Now, everything that I put on top of that layout isn't going to make it necessarily, but it, this is me just making some choices. So I decide that it's better to start again at the beginning. So I'm going to take off all the bits of ephemera and start to stick down the tags. Originally, I'm going to, I was going to use foam pads, and then I decided I was going to just use some foam. Unfortunately, this isn't the sticky sort, so I am going to need to use some double-sided tape but I do think it will make the tags more stable when they're stuck into place. So I've done that off camera. So they're all stuck down on foam and I've got some white embroidery, um, sorry, crochet cotton here. And I'm actually going to string the tags again, apart from the center one, as I say, because that will be covered the majority by the photograph. So um, I didn't think the strings in the tags were long enough for what I wanted. So I'm just going to cut them and restring them myself. So, uh, yeah, now they're stuck down. I really like the way they look. I like the fact that they're all lifted. Just gives that little bit of dimension and shadow when you when you look at them. So I have stuck down the cotton on the other side with sellotape. So every tag string is over the edge of the 12 by 12 cardstock. And I really like the way that looks. I didn't really think about it when I originally started. It's just an idea that formed as I went along. Um, so it is a little uneven. There's two either side, four at the top and one at the bottom, but I'm OK with that. Um, if you did it yourself, you may want to space them out a little bit more, but it's just the way it is. But I just think it adds another little bit of texture to this layout. So I'm looking for layers to go behind the photograph. And this is one of these cutter parts that they do. So I'm just going to use that um, green element to go behind the photograph as well. The only thing is it's got it looks like it's got like a bit of a torn edge so uh, I'm just going to try and be a little bit careful cutting it out so it still that looks a little bit like it originally did rather than me just straightening it off. Sometimes some of these I've actually even come in with my 
distress tool just to uh, rough up the edge a little bit more. So I've got these two bits to tuck behind the photograph. And I like the way that's looking. I do want to see a little bit of that tag that's underneath it, so I may just move it around a touch, but I think that's uh, working really well now. So I'm going to come in and start to think about the ephemera bits again and just make some final choices um, because I did start piling lots on top of it and I've got those bits there on the right and I'm just going to uh, see how they really look this time, see what makes the final cut. But there is, as I say, so many bits to choose from. I don't embellish all the tags. I think there's a couple that I leave just because they were either tucked under the photo or quite busy already. But I have settled on that word delightful for the title. The photograph was taken at a black tie event. Um, so we're all dressed up, as you can see from my husband's bow tie. And um, yes, we did. We had an absolutely delightful evening. And it was definitely worth recording on a layout, uh, even though it was a few years ago now. And I will add the date once it's all finished. So I'm just looking at restricting what I use, but I want to repeat what I use, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking I'm going to use some tickets and stamps, so there's some rectangles. I'm going to use some butterflies in, in multiple uh, places, and the same with flowers just to help your eye travel around the page without it being too cluttered. I'm also going to use a little bit of this die cut that looks like ripped paper. I'm going to try and use that at least in a couple of places as well. But because you've got all that gap around the outside that is essentially white space, even though obviously it's pink, it, um, I'm hoping the layout isn't going to feel too cluttered after all. Um, because there's so many little nice bits and pieces and words and phrases that uh, I really want to get some of them stuck down on this layout. I would really recommend you check out this range and others in the Hey Little Magpie shop. You'll find that all the latest releases will always be there and um, obviously uh, Spectrum Sherbet by 49er Market has been a big hit recently as well and that also is in the store so definitely worth checking out Hey Little Magpie uh, if you're looking for some new scrapbook supplies. Um, and I would definitely check out this range because it's I'm really I've been really impressed by the quality of the paper and the the choice of die cuts and extras definitely for this range. Um, so I'm just still messing about, which is what I do best. I don't have um, a set plan for what I want it to look like. Um, I'm happy to change that as I go along. Uh, embellishing is something that I really enjoy. Um, I, I like to find the right place for the right thing. I like to just make sure that I've looked at all my supplies so that I can find just the right piece. It's what I really enjoy about scrapbooking. I'm, I've never been a fast scrapper. I'm not after making a certain number of layouts a year or um, anything like that. I'm, I'm about enjoying the process really. And so that's why I'm having a good look, see if there's any other pieces that I think would really work on this layout. So what do you use to stick your um, embellishments down? Do you use double-sided tape? Do you want to use one a some sort of tape roller? Um, do you use wet glue? I, I'm interested. I, I, <laughs> I've had a few disasters with wet glue, so I only use it when I really need to. I do like glue dots. I know... I've not been able to get hold of some for a while, but I do like those. Um, but yes, I prefer double-sided tape, which you'll see at me using on a roll. I did have one of those handheld gadgets, but I don't know whether it's being left-handed or whether what it is really, but it just did not suit me at all. So I just tend to use double-sided tape, and it's quite forgiving, actually, which is probably a good thing with me. Um, but uh, yes... Interested, let me know in the comments what you use. I'm just being nosy, really. But um, I do love foam pads. I love dimension. So I've stuck all the bits down. Now, the delightful title felt a bit white, the word, in the centre. So I've come in, and this is the pricking tool on, my, on the mat. And I'm actually going to sew over the white word in backstitch. That's the plan. So I'm just slowly but surely putting the holes into the die cut 
This is using sewing is a really good way to add dimension to die cuts and I've sewn it all off camera and I've now stuck it down with some foam pads. So uh, can you see the uh, texture in the sewing? Um, so that's everything stuck down. I'm really pleased. It's just a pale pink cotton embroidery thread and I really like the way this looks. So here's the finished layout and some close-ups too. You'll be able to see the stitching again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please um, subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Bye for now.